What's good? We're back in this thing. Today, we're going to be going over the selective color effect where you can kind of select a color from a music video and only have that color show or change the color of a specific color. I just said color a lot, but yeah, it's done in the Switches and Drake's music video by Jerry Productions. Super fire effect, probably going to be the most simplistic effect you can do that's on this channel. So if you're interested in that, sit back, relax, click like, and let's get into the video. So the effect we're going over is this right here, where everything is desaturated besides the reds in this video. It looks super fire. The blacks are like kind of like grayed out. And I'll show you how to do all of that. Here is my take on it. This is what the clip looked like originally. And then after we're done, this is what it looks like. Like I said, this is going to be one of the more simplistic videos on my channel. I really like the effect. And if it's done properly, it can look really good. Just don't go out of your way to do this an excessive amount of times in your video. I think if it's done tastefully, it can look really good. But if you do it too much, it will look a little weird in your music video. With all that being said, I just wanted to get a quick video out to you guys because I've been working on finishing a pack that I've been working on for the last couple of months. And let me just say this thing's huge. It's going to include everything you need, pretty much the essentials. That's all I'll give you. But you're going to want to be looking out for that. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and ring the notification bell. The first few people that purchase the pack through Instagram, I'll have like a discount code for them. So you're going to want to know when I drop that. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can go to my website, BrianDelmata.com. I have a bunch of packs and presets for editing music videos. You got thermal packs, CRT pack, paper texture pack. You've probably seen it in music videos before. It's been used like crazy. But yeah, if you wanted to support the channel, you could do that. But let's get into the video. So this is the look that we ended up with. And this this is what it started off with. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you don't have a Lumetri color tab, you can go up to windows and then go to Lumetri color and it'll pop up in a tab somewhere. Or if you wanted to, you could type in Lumetri color in the search of the effects tab and drag that onto your clip and it'll show up in the effects controls. I'm going to go ahead and use a Lumetri color tab. I think it's just a little bit easier. And what you're going to want to navigate to is the curves section of the Lumetri color. And then you're going to scroll down to where you see hue and sat. So basically what this is, is the hue or the color variance in the image versus the saturation. So how saturated something is, if it's black and white or really colorful. So if we use this eyedropper tool in the top right here, and click on the color that we want. For us, we can see this red. Now you can see if we drag this orange side down, everything on this side, it's gonna desaturate everything besides that red. That's already looking really good. I'm gonna do that on the other side, even though there's not really much color coming from the other side, it's just good to eliminate all that. And then you can tweak how much, you can see if I drag it out this way, you can see we still have some of that hue here. You want to go until you just limit it to one color. You can see now we have all reds. It definitely works a lot better when the color you have isn't similar to anything else in the clip. But like I was able to do, even though this was orange and this was red, we were still able to separate it really easily. So it shouldn't be too hard. And then you can even bring up the reds to make them even more saturated if you really wanted to. We can do that just a little bit. And then if you scroll down to hue versus hue, so this is just going to take the hue or the color variance in the image and change it. So if we do that eyedropper tool again, right on that red and then drag it up, you can see we change it. It changes to the pinks, the purples, the blues. And if you go down the opposite way, greens and all this different color. So basically you can go ahead and change it to whatever color you want. If you're planning on doing this in a video, I'd highly suggest you shoot at the highest bit rate your camera allows you to. The higher bit rate, the easier you're going to be able to color shift like this. You can see if we start bringing it to certain colors, they'll start kind of breaking apart. Not that it looks bad or anything, but you can see how the, the blues is breaking apart with the purple back here. And if you shoot at a higher bit rate, the higher it is, the less that's going to happen. So like I said, you can change it to basically whatever color you want. For right now, I'm just going to leave it right at that red. And then if you keep on scrolling down the hue versus Luma, it's basically the color variance versus how bright something is. So if we go and drag on that red again, so you can see if we start to bring that down, it's going to make the reds a lot darker in color. And if we bring it up, it's going to make it a lot brighter in the color. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit just to make it a little bit more contrast heavy. And there we go. If we turn it on and off, we can see what we're working with. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. All the other options aren't going to really do too much. The Luma versus Sat and the Sat versus Sat. It's just a direct correlation. So if you drag it up, it's just the whole entire bar. It's just over the overall image itself. And then I'm going to go back all the way up to the top of the curves and just add a little bit of contrast into this. Could kind of make it pop a little bit more. Let's make those highlights a little bit more grungy looking because that's kind of how he had in the video itself. And you can just play around with it. The lower section is going to be your shadows. The middle section is going to be your midtones, And the top section is going to be your highlights. So you can see here, if I drag up this point up here, it's going to make the whites or the brighter things in the image a lot more standout-ish and a lot brighter. And if we bring it down, it's going to be a lot more grungy and dark. So I'm just moving around the curves to find something that I like. If you bring up this point here, it will kind of wash out the blacks or make them faded a little bit. 
So we can do something like that. So now we can see if we turn that on and off, we have a completely different image. I really like the way he did this in the video. So I just wanted to showcase kind of how to do it and make it stand out a little bit more. So the more vibrant a color is, the easier it's going to be able to do. So he did a really good job identifying that, having the, having the theme with the red cars and the red clothes and everything. Like I said, you can do this in whatever clip, but if you can see here, if we tried something on this clip right here, we just wanted his purple jacket. You can see how it's very close to this black. We're gonna have a lot harder time doing something like that. So let's click and I'll just try to show you the best way possible to do it. So you can see we can bring out that saturation everywhere. And if we really wanted to push it, we might be able to get those colors in this jacket, but it's still really, really hard to do. You can see we have a little bit of color, but overall it's pretty much just black. So it's really depending on your clip. So you do want to go ahead and plan for that when you're shooting the video, or at least identify what clip's good to do it on and which one's not. So now when we play that clip, you can see we have the effect. And if we were to turn it off, this is what it would look like without it. So pretty much night and day difference. I think it looks really good and I enjoy in this music video here, especially with the theme of the colors of the cars. Uh, like I said, you can go ahead and go and change any color of car. Now you can make it purple cars, but you do have that color breaking apart, especially since I downloaded this footage off YouTube. It has a little bit less detail and uh, data in the colors itself, but it still looks pretty good. You can change it to green all these different colors, but just play around with it. Like I said, if you wanted it to work the best, shoot at the highest bit rate your camera allows you to. That way there's more data in the video file itself and it will allow you to change it a lot more. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this tutorial. If you made it all the way to the end, like always, I do appreciate you. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the YouTube stuff. It really does mean a lot and helps push my content to other people. Be sure to follow me on social medias. I'll have them linked down below. Follow me on Instagram, ring the notification bell because I'm gonna be coming out with that pack relatively soon and you're gonna wanna know when it comes out. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanted to snag the packs that I already have out, the paper texture pack, the thermal pack, the CRT pack, level up your music videos and support the channel at the same time, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the link in the description, briandelmata.com. You get some really cool looks, you're able to save some time and you also support the channel at the same time so I can keep on doing videos like this. But yeah guys, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, peace.